सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर वन टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ बेसिक फ्लूड सिमुलेशन यूजिंग दी ब्लैंडर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले नाउ लेट्स के स्टार्ट ई ट्यूटोरियल एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ट्यूटोरियल गाइज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू माई प्रोजेक्ट फाइल सो हेर यू कैन सी गाइज दिस इज माई प्रोजेक्ट फाइल हेर यू कैन सी एंड हेर वी हैव अ सेम एनिविजन विच इज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन बिफोर ओके एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट एक्जैक्टली हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दैट काइंड ऑफ एनिमेशन हाउ यू कैन फिल द कप विद द कॉफी ओके सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस टूटोरियल टिल एंड सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट यू टूटोरियल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू ओपन अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फाइल सो लेट्स डू इट सो हेर यू कैन सी गैज हेर वी हैव अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फाइल एंड हेर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ लिटिल सीन ऑल्सो हेयर ओके आई हैव अ वन टेबल मॉडल एंड हेयर आई हैव ऑल्सो वन कप एंड प्लेट मॉडल एज वेल ओके सो फॉर डूइंग अ फ्लूड सिमुलेशन इन ब्लैंडर वी नीड सम ऑब्जेक्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड अ डोमिन ऑब्जेक्ट सेकेंड वी नीड अ फ्लो ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज गॉन अ फ्लो दी फ्लूड इन टू आर सीन बाई द वे एंड थर्ड वी नीड अ इफेक्टर बेसिकली सो इफेक्टर कैन बी एनी थिंग एंड डोमिन ऑल्सो कैन बी एनी थिंग ओके बट राइट नो एम जस्ट गो नॉट टेक अ डोमिन एज अ क्यूब ओके यू कैन टेक एनी काइंड ऑफ शेप अकॉर्डिंग टू योर मॉडल शेप बेसिकली बट राइट नो क्यूब इज लुक नाइस टू मी ओके बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक अ डोमिन एज अ सिलेंडर सो यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक द सिलेंडर एज वेल Okay, so now let's start it. But first of all, I just want to enable my shortcut VR, so you can easily see which key I'm pressing on the left hand side. Yeah, cool. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add one cube here, pressing the Shift A. I'm just gonna add a cube, and I'm just gonna switch into my wireframe, so we can easily see through this cube. By the way, so I just want to little up this cube, and I just want to also scale down, and something like that. And I just also just want to. move this top face little bit up so we can easily add the flow object in between here okay yeah so now that's look nice to me and after doing this scale make sure you apply the scale first of all yeah pressing the control a yeah now that's look nice to me and if you want to just move little bit here so i think that's look nice to me also now what i'm going to do i'm just going to add one flow object so for flow object i just want add a one uv sphere and i'm just want to scale this something like that and i just want to keep this uv sphere i think here something like that yeah and we'll just do little scale also and make sure after doing this scale you apply this scale as well okay so now here you can see we are good to go here we have our domain object and here we have also a flow object so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select my cube and i will just uh, switch my physics setting and here i will just click the fluid and i will just change the type as a domain and we are going to change the domain type as a liquid because we are going to work on a liquid and we'll just uh, change the resolution here i will say 64 yeah something like that and we'll just uh, enable this diffusion and we'll just change the preset as a water yeah something like that and we'll just change the end frame right now 150 is look nice to me so we can do uh, 50 as well for checking a big process first of all so i'm doing a 50 right now and we'll just uh, change this type as a all and make sure you enable this is resumable okay so apart from that you don't need to change anything right now okay now just let's move on a flow object so we'll just select this uv sphere again i will add the fluid here i will change the type as a flow okay we'll just change the smoke into a liquid same like a before and right now i will just change a flow behavior as a inflow so in flow what is does exactly it's continuously flow the fluid into our scene if you want to control this fluid you can just uncheck this use flow so that uh, flow object will be stop producing the water by the way okay so we can also animate this so we'll do also this process later but right now i'm just going to keep it uh, check this use flow okay and one more thing we need to do what we have to do we have to just select our uh, cup and here we have to just add again a fluid and i will just change the flow type as a effector okay and apart from that you don't need to change anything so now let's do big first of all and let's see how it's look like so i'm just going to select my domain object i will just scroll it down and here i'm just going to do big yeah so here you can see our big is done and if i'm just going to play the animation so here you can see we have a good fluid into our scene and that's look nice here you can see okay so now what i'm going to do first of all i just want to change my end frame as a 150 so we can see more fluid so i just want to uh, resume this first of all yeah 
yeah let's look nice so here you can see if i'm just gonna play the animation so here you can see it's gonna fill our cup and it's gonna overflow as well and we have to restrict this thing by the way so for that what we have to do we have to just use the use flow which is i'm talking about before by the way so what we have to do we have to just go to our 50th frame okay and here i'm just gonna click this little pointer here and i will just add one keyframe into this use flow option then i'm just gonna move forward one frame and here i'm just gonna uncheck this use flow and again i'm just gonna hit this pointer so now here you can see so now what will happen till the 50 frame will get the flow will get the water and after 50th frame will not get the any water by the way okay so now if you want to see the result so first of all you have to rebake this process so i'm just gonna rebake it pressing the free all and right now i'm just gonna bake with the mesh as well so we can see mesh also so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna bake it so it will take little time okay it depends also your system and how much resolution you took okay so yeah so here you can see our bake is complete now let's see how it look like so i'm just gonna switch my a render view okay i'm just gonna play the animation so now here you can see we have a perfect fluid animation but right now there is some problem so that water is gonna flow inside this uh this cup basically okay and which is not look nice by the way so for that what we have to do we have to just do little setting also so first of all we want okay so first of all we have to just uh, increase little surface thickness i think that much is look nice to me and we want again rebake this process so for that i'm just gonna select my domain object and i'm just gonna free this all process okay and now i'm just gonna bake it again okay so here you can see that our bake is complete now let's again move on our render view okay so now let's see how it look like so now here you can see that problem is gone now that look nice to me but one more thing i have to do here what we have to do we have to just uh, decrease this uh, animation 10 frame something like that and now i'm just gonna rebake it again okay i'm just gonna select my domain and do rebake let's do it back so here you can see that our bake is complete now let's see how it look like so here you can see everything will look nice to me but that fluid resolution is not looking good so for that what we have to do you have to just select your domain object first of all okay and you have to just uh, delete a free all okay delete the big by, by the way and here you have to just increase the resolution so right now i'm just gonna took this resolution um, 300 okay and i'm just gonna click a bake so it will take a little time so i'm gonna skip this process so you can see that our baking process is done if i'm just gonna play the animation so that will look something like that and here you can see that look nice to me if i'm just gonna switch my solid mode so here you can see that look fabulous okay so after completing your bake when you get the physical mesh you can just add the coffee shader into your mesh and when you take a render so you will see something like that So that's how you can create a, a basic fluid simulation in Blender. Okay, which is super easy trick. So I thought I should share with you. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you learned something in this video, please hit the like button, hit the share button, and subscribe my channel. Also, if you have any queries, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. I will definitely reply comment. So bye bye, take care, and stay home, guys.